Hello folks, feels like five minutes since I've been in Scotland but here we are, we're back, back in a Sint. Now, I'm not too familiar with the Sint, I've only ever been here once, came here pre-Covid and this trip I'm on is the trip I was meant to be on last year but obviously got cancelled because of Covid. Uh, so yeah, got here yesterday, didn't do any filming which was a mistake because I came to this place, Clackdall Beach and we had some absolutely biblical conditions. I do apologise if the audio is a little bit tiffy here. I'm having to rely on the uh, the onboard mic on this pocket too because my wireless mic's flat. Uh, yeah, absolutely biblical conditions. Driving hail, blowing an absolute gale. It would, I mean, in hindsight, it would have been absolutely impossible to do any filming. It was that tough. Uh, but I got a. <laughs> I got a pretty good image from yesterday. I will show you that one in a moment. Uh, but I thought it was worth coming back down here and see what I could get in slightly different conditions. It's not quite as breezy as it was yesterday. Uh, the tide's coming in at the moment. T high tide's in about half an hour. So, yeah, just gonna have a little explore early on in this trip. No pressure. Just having a little bit of a relax and seeing what we can find. But yeah, what a cracking location this is. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to this week. saying it wasn't that windy my god it's picked up <laughs> we're expecting a, another weather system coming in in the next hour or so so this might be the only footage I get done today I'll just try and bloody hell wait a sec let me get out of this wind a little bit oh. okay apologies if the audio is not so great here <laughs> I was saying before it's uh, a bit less windy today it's starting to pick up now uh, I've come down to the same spot that I was at yesterday but I'm just trying to get a slightly different take on it uh, let me talk you through what I'm doing uh, the one I shot yesterday was in landscape format and because of the challenges of that shot I couldn't change lenses and it was a kind of a sort of make do with what you've what you've given basically but it worked out pretty well in the end this one I've just come a little bit closer than I was yesterday and I've put the 14 to 30 on shooting it in portrait format and we've got this nice little split in the rocks here where the incoming tides coming down and I'm just trying to make sure I've got a little bit of separation between these two sets of rocks in front of me and then in the mid distance there I'm just making sure that the rock on the left hand side has a little bit of breathing room and then in the far distance, the split rock, which is the sort of focus of a lot of people's shots when they come to this location, that is separated from the rock underneath it in the mid distance. Uh, in terms of shutter speeds, I'm working at around half a second here. I'm finding that that's giving me the best sort of motion for what I'm after here. And I'm just going to play with a few different shots as the light keeps changing. Uh, but I don't know if I can top yesterday's to be honest with you that was uh, that was just one of those things I'm actually amazed that that shot came out sharp because it was so windy a lot windier than it is now and uh, fortunately it come out alright but I'll put both of those on the screen so you can have a look at them and let me know what you think in the comments
escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. That really did jump up a notch. It uh, was pretty settled when I got here, but my God, the wind has come in now. It is absolutely howling. It's made any kind of work with the tripod just, it, well, impossible. And it's not far off as windy as it was yesterday. So there's a real risk to the equipment when you're trying to do filming around this stuff. There's a, there's a time and a place for vlogging and uh, the conditions now, it, that's not it, so. Uh, I did have a walk up to the top of the headland there in the wind and I mean as I said no tripod handheld just trusting the IBIS and the and the VR there was some lovely light breaking out over the back of the split rock towards the mountain so grabbed a few there hopefully they've come out okay hopefully they're sharp I mean that would be the main concern because as I said it's so windy but they looked all right on the back of the screen I'm just exposing for this guy just under exposing them and, and getting the shot I mean I'm not a big proponent of pushing tripods at people they are very much a means to an end to me so really your priority should always be to just get the shot and if it means whacking the ISO open under exposing it or whatever it is if, if the conditions dictate that then get the shot which uh, that was what I was trying to do there right I'm gonna scoot off and see if I can find something else uh, just chase the light around and see what I can find wave after wave of squalls continued to batter in for the rest of the day although there was a little bit of brief respite at this small lock behind where we were staying in Loch Inver was treated to some absolutely gorgeous light, albeit momentarily. After this point, however, the rain continued unabated for several more days. I continued on in the hope, vain hope, that I could find something else. Well, 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 it is absolutely howling out there. <laughs> I'm sat in the car here trying to pluck up the courage to go out, but there's just no point at the moment. It's just wave after wave of front coming in off the sea here. It's blowing a gale. It must be 35, 40 miles an hour. And where I'm actually planning on going to here is up on a big exposed patch of moorland it's going to be even windier up there so yeah i'm uh, i'm trying to find the motivation at the minute but it's it's pretty difficult uh, where i've come to actually is the what's called the aid of koigak hopefully i'm pronouncing that right if i'm not someone please correct me uh with the hope of trying to get a nice shot across to stack poly and sylvan it's a big exposed patch of moorland with loads of big boulders strewn around and the hope is that when one of these weather fronts passes through, might be able to catch a little bit of light. Uh, I've come up here early. I mean, sun doesn't set for quite a long time, you know, three, four hours away yet. So I'm just gonna wait this out for a little bit and hopefully we're gonna get a, a bit of a clear patch and I'll, I'll start my walk. Uh, it's, yeah. it's pretty tough at the minute though, it's hard to, motivate myself to get out of the car because uh well i'll show you here just um i'll just spin it around it is horrendous yeah so there you go uh, i do apologize if this video is a little bit cobbled together because of the tough uh, conditions and all that sort of stuff the audio is probably going to be a bit iffy as well but i'll do my best sir fingers crossed this this weather passes over and i'll be able to get out the car and, and start my walk soon yeah the things you do for these videos right it's no good i'm gonna go for it let's go okay we've made it up here and unbelievably there's a bit of light i think i've i've timed this perfectly because i was just joking to greg there that they've been up here for about two hours getting absolutely 
battered by the wind and hail and I just sat in a nice warm car waited it out and then I've just timed it nicely so we're up here now and the winds dropped and I've got a little bit of light and it's looking like we might get some good light for the next sort of 20 minutes half hour uh, I've, I'll just show you what I've been shooting here um, I've been making a bit of a pig's ear of it so far to be honest um, it's tricky finding a composition that works because sun's behind me at the minute and every shot that you take you've got your shadow to consider so I'm trying to find compositions which don't involve my shadow basically so I'm shooting 90 degrees to the sun rather than it be behind me now um, I've got this one portrait shot set up here looking up towards stack poly with this large boulder in the foreground now I'm not a big fan of rocks in foregrounds but it's a bit different up here the rocks are rocks are a bit more special than the ones that you find on the, the shoreline of Derwent water that's for sure so let me talk you through this shot this boulder here is just catching the, this lovely side light that we're getting off my right shoulder and then we've got stack poly in the distance there it's making a lovely focal point in the distance I did want to shoot more to my left if I just point you this way that's looking towards uh, Sullivan in the distance there that's catching the light on the top of the hill uh, the lights a little bit washed out over there and it's lacking a bit of contrast and also I've got the issues of uh, shooting towards my shadow let me just get you lit up there as you can see down. Uh, this shot so f8 uh, about 40 millimeter I don't want to shoot this ultra wide because stack poly is not the biggest mountain and it can get a bit lost in the distance if you shoot it too wide so I'm shooting it about a mid focal length and then it's going to be a three shot bracket uh, focus stack rather uh, foreground mid ground background and blend them together so yeah it's looking not too bad this one Right, last shot of the day, I'm going to have to make this quick because uh, as you can see behind me it's really starting to close in now and I'm getting pelted with hailstones. Uh, this shot here, I actually wanted to shoot this originally but Greg had already bagged this spot when I got here so uh, he's probably got a really good shot of this by now with the light earlier. Uh, I'm just sticking it out until sunset because there's a couple of little pockets behind me in the sky that the light might get through so I'm not expecting any light on the foreground here but maybe some light sort of crisscrossing through the mid distance and the far distance towards Sullivan there I was actually taking a few shots of Sullivan with the long lens a little earlier I'll put those on the end uh, for you to have a look at uh, but I'm not holding my breath with this light but it's worth sticking it out for because I'm not up here very often and it would be a shame to sort of turn it in early I'm gonna finish this one here because I'm absolutely freezing so keep liking and subscribing and uh, I'll see you on the next one when I'll probably be back in the Lake District I would say uh, so this will wrap up this this little Scottish series so thanks for watching